Hello, this is Brandon Haston with Pseudo Game Dev. This is part four of the Let's Make a Game series with Unity 4. Today we're covering how to make models in Blender for use in Unity and how to get these models into Unity, which is actually surprisingly quite simple. But I still feel that I should make a video covering this just to com complete the series or to make the series more complete than it would be if I left this step out. The first thing I did before I made this bridge model is I've gone ahead and went into our scene settings over here and set our units from none to metric. Unity uses the metric system for its units. Each unit is one meter in size. And so now my Blender units match my Unity units. Both use one meter per unit. So you can see here from our top-down view that our bridge will be four meters long, or as I like to call it, four cubes in length. The origin is set in the dead center of our model. I have a habit usually of making the origin at the corner of a model. But for this video, I'm just going to go ahead and leave that origin. I don't believe it really matters that much. And I've set our origin point at 0, 0, 0 in the game world. My model itself is composed of three objects. I have an object for the planks of the bridge, and I have an object for the railing here, and then I have a separate object for the supports of the railing that link the planks to the rail itself. I haven't assigned any materials to the models or any of the objects here, it's important to note that each object gets its own material within Unity. This allows us to do some interesting things later on, but in this video I only have one material to work with. It's that crappy brown material from last video that I made. So nothing too exciting is going to go on with multiple materials on this object today. To bring this into Unity, now that I've set our units to meters and have created our four cube long bridge, all we have to do now is go to File, Save As, and I've gone ahead and made a Models folder in my assets. I'm going to save this as bridge.blend, and that's it. If I open up Unity now, You'll see that in our models folder, I have a bridge model and a new folder called materials. Unity automatically will try and import any of the materials that are assigned to the objects of your model when you import the model itself. Because I didn't have any materials assigned, Unity had gone ahead and made a default material, which I'm not going to use. But now I can go ahead and drag my bridge into the scene. I'm actually going to put this at origin to make this easier to move. And I'm going to rotate this by 90 degrees. I'll hold control and drag it to move in increments. And I'm going to scoot over a half unit since it appears that when I brought the model in, it was misaligned by half a unit. So now you can see that in our editor, we have a bridge which actually snaps flush with the cubes in the, in the world that we have here. Let me move to a side view. And the planks also are flush, which works out surprisingly well, considering I didn't actually keep that in mind when I made the model. 
So that makes me happy. I like it when things just work. That's good news. So now we have a bridge. I'll go ahead and maybe, you know what? let's select multiple here. I'll move some grass tiles over. And then take a look how this looks in the game world. You can see we have a bridge in our world rendering properly. It doesn't have any material, so it just looks gray. And this is where things get kind of cool. In our main materials folder, because I have three different objects, normally I could use multiple materials here. But I only have one material, so I can simply drag and drop onto our model as if it were like a Unity cube or what have you. And it automatically will apply itself to the model. So I can go ahead and do that. And I'll use grass for I'll use grass for the railing and or fence post for the planks. can't really see it very well in the game view. I'm going to go ahead and change the camera settings so you can see a little bit better here since the models in the game itself are a bit small. So the camera's a little too far away. Let's set the size here from 10 to five. There we go, that's a lot better. You can see what's going on more clearly. Although it is a tad dark, so let's go ahead and duplicate this light. Get creative with our light here. And let's play. There we go. It looks like we have a bridge that's supported by, I guess, vines if you want to use your imagination here. And we're floating in an infinite void of blue. Let's put some ground underneath our bridge just to give us a little bit more depth, I think. So I've gone ahead and edited the scene a bit. So I've added some ground below the bridge and I've added some walls. And I think I'll go ahead and quickly move some of these tiles like this. Let's play this, take a look at how it looks within the game. Looks pretty good, I think. It's starting to look like a game. When you bring in a model into Unity, there are a couple things to keep an eye on. The lighting can look a bit off, and that is because when you bring in a model, if I can select it, it automatically wants to import normals. So if you go to the import option here with our model and click calculate instead, you force the game to calculate the normals. So it matches the lighting that the rest of the world is using. You can also uncheck import materials if you don't want it to try and bring in materials from that you've used from Blender. Tangents control the smoothing of the model, so let's play with this real quick and just say the angle is two. And that looks slightly different, but not much. Let's make it 90. Now we get this really roundish smooth kind of lighting going on. I'm going to leave it at 60 because I don't want to mess with that too much. I'm going to play this now. And now it looks more flat shaded and the lighting is more consistent across the model. In the next video, I will be covering how to bring in a simple character to move around in our world because no game is complete without being able to interact with it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.